Okay, so what I want to do is I want to walk you through a quick example of how to write uh, a Node.js application that uses the Tropa Web API. This will let you write a multi-channel communication app quickly and easily using Node.js and the Tropo platform. So to start off, Node.js is a framework for writing server-side JavaScript applications that uses the V8 JavaScript engine from Google. And if you go to nodejs.org, you can find out all about it and find out how to install it on your machine and to start using it. For this example, I'm going to assume you have Node installed and that you're using the Node Package Manager. Uh, so if you go on over to uh, GitHub and look at the Tropo site, you will notice a library for writing Node.js applications. So you can clone this repo, you can uh, play with it, do anything you want with it, um, install it on your machine, and start working with it. A really easy way to install this module and any Node module, uh, well I should say most Node modules, is to use uh, the Node Package Manager. And I'm going to do that right now and actually install this Tropo Web API uh, module on my machine. And that's it. Now it's installed. Now I can start to use the Tropo Node.js library to write multi-channel communication apps. So what I've done is I have put together a very simple Node.js application. Uh, it's basically a small HTTP server that's going to run on uh, port 8000 and it's going to listen for requests and it's going to respond with some JSON uh, and do some cool things. This is very easy to do with the uh, Tropo Web API library. So I'm going to set this baby off. Okay, so now it's running. So it's running on my local machine, but I want to hit it from uh, the interwebs. So I need some way of connecting the Tropo platform with uh, my local development machine. So if you go to our website and you look at the documentation for the Tropo Web API, you'll see a whole section on a service called Tunneler. So a Tunneler lets you set up a tunnel, basically, from the worldwide interwebs to your local development machine. And it's a really easy way to uh, develop applications uh, and test things out. So I've gone ahead and I've signed up for a Tunneler account. I've got it running. Uh, and I'm going to actually set up a tunnel right now. And if you go to the Tunneler website, uh, all sorts of good information on how to get started and how to set up a tunnel. It's really easy to do, take you a couple of minutes. You can see here I'm actually uh, setting up a tunnel uh, to port 8000 on my local machine. Uh, that's actually what our node application uh, is running on. So if I go to my Tropo account and I look at uh, my applications, uh, I have a application set up called node test and in it I have put my Tunneler URL which you can get from your Tunneler account. Very easy to do and since when you create an application in Tropo you have um, phone numbers provisioned automatically Skype, SIP, uh, iNum phone number and a phono uh, number you can use. I can go ahead and call this thing now. So why don't we do that and uh, see what it sounds like. And there you have it. So that was pretty easy to do. Uh, just a couple of minutes and I've got a, a phone app uh, running in Node.js. Uh, but I want to try something a little bit different. I've also um, set up a uh, Jabber uh, username and assigned it to this application, my Node test application. I've called it Node.js at tropa.im and I've gone ahead and set it up as a contact uh, in my uh, Jabber client. So let me do this. Let me see what happens when we send node a message on a different channel. And you can see I get the response back hello world I like to node so will you. So within just a couple of minutes I've used uh, node.js and a, a, a library for using node from Tropo and set up a multi-channel communication app and I could also use Twitter, SMS, uh, and uh, all of the goodness in, in Node to make this thing uh, uh, even cooler than it is already. And it is pretty cool, I think you'll admit. Uh, so there you have it, uh, Node.js and Tropo, uh, server-side JavaScript at its finest.